If you feel depressed or are exhibiting signs of anxiety because your life is spinning out of control, you need to get your life together. Getting your life together means increasing your quality of life. This video will give you ideas to help with mending your heart and mind. What is quality of life? Britannica defines quality of life as the degree to which an individual is healthy, comfortable, and able to participate in or enjoy life events. While health is essential, other factors are just as crucial to your overall well-being. Your job, your relationship, sexual relationships, the house you live in, the neighborhood you reside in, and even perhaps the school you go to, influence your mind, body, and soul. Spirituality, core values, and culture have meaning as well. Emotions can get out of control, throwing off your balance of happiness and harmony. Quality of life also refers to how people live with chronic disease and pain. It reflects the ability to live the way they want and how they socialize with others. Quality of life is different compared to the standard of living. Please do not confuse the standard of living as it refers to your financial situation or income. However, a person's financial status can be very overwhelming, bringing their overall mood down. If you can improve your quality of life, your standard of living will undoubtedly increase and begin to get your life together. Let's take a look at ways to improve your quality of life and how you can start to get your life together. Don't dwell on the past because all that matters is the present. If you deal with the problems of today, your future will look bright. To sum up in a word why people have a low quality of life, it is habits. Bad habits are the main culprits that bring a person down. By improving your practices, you can improve your quality of life immensely. Changing your habits is not an easy task. I know you've heard this a lot over your lifetime, but changing habits is accomplished by setting and achieving goals. It doesn't do you right to set goals if you don't follow through on them. To set goals, you need to decide what you want to change. Think of what you can change. Decide what is making you unhappy in life. Start with the little things. Break your goals down into baby steps. Achieving small tasks are better than not achieving anything at all. Once you have accomplished those, move on to the more significant problems. Write down your goals and read them every day. Understanding them helps you remember your goals and helps you envision how it will feel when you finish the task. Keep going. Never stop reaching for your goals. You can endure the frustrations of failure and there will be failures. Just pick yourself up and continue. When you finally reach your finish line, celebrate. Tell everyone about your success. Could you post it on social media? After the celebration, start new goals, just the same as you did before. The positive effect is when a person experiences positive moods or emotions and positively influences others. Positive people are happier and more successful. Their lives are less stressful and more productive. Being around someone positive can lower stress levels at work. Have you ever been around someone at work that is negative all the time? Sure, we all have. The negativity brings the team morale down and productivity drops. Becoming a more positive person will lead to less stress and a happier life, making work more bearable. Pessimism can affect your well-being and overall health. It's hard for a pessimistic person to have a high quality of life. Someone who always doubts or believes the worst will happen is full of anxiety and depression. Some pessimists even develop sleep disorders. At its extreme, you can acquire heart disease. Gaining positivity over pessimism is much better than the alternative. Having realistic expectations, at the very least, will increase your happiness. A healthy positivity level has the best outcome.
Fortunately, with some effort, you can increase your positivity level. Here are some ways to improve your positivity. Number 1. Loving Kindness Meditation. LKM is a technique that is used to increase your well being and reduces stress. This type of meditation can help you emit compassion, sympathy, and joy while driving away anger, hate, and disgust. LKM can do deep healing. This kind of meditation takes practice. The average person is not used to giving and receiving so much love that it can be difficult at first. There are no known risks associated with LKM, so you have nothing to lose trying this method. Try this Buddhist designed method. Mark some quiet time for a few minutes every day. Sit comfortably. Close your eyes and try to relax all your muscles. Take some deep breaths. Visualize yourself in complete control of your inner peace, physical wellness, and emotional strength. Feel the love for yourself. Focus on peace. Breathe out the tensions and inhale the love. Create positive chants that you can repeat to yourself, such as I am happy. I am safe. I will give love and receive love. I will be healthy. I am peaceful. Feel the warmth and compassion towards yourself. After you focus on yourself, you may choose to focus on others as well. Think about your family and friends and feel gratitude and love for them. Imagine others in peace and wellness. Extend your forgiveness to those you are contrasted with and find that inner peace. After your meditation time is over, remember through the day the feelings you felt and the images you visualized. Remember the love, joy, and happiness. Don't get distracted by negativity. Number 2. Take up a hobby. People with stressful lives need something to lower stress levels and bring down their blood pressure from a day of stressful activities. Engaging in a leisure activity will provide a break from the monotony and make you feel like you're doing something productive. Having a hobby can bring your mood up and give you an overall sense of joy. You can reach higher levels of positive states with a lower level of depression with recreational activities. Some hobbies come with a social aspect. Activities like golf, tennis, card games, and even chess can relieve your stress and negativity with friends by your side. A hobby can bring you closer to your friends. Sometimes it's good to be alone for a little while, but everyone needs to have friends that can support each other and share in their common likes and pursuits. Number 3. Exercise. Just like with a hobby, exercise can be a great stress reliever and raise your positivity levels. Simple tasks such as riding a bike or cleaning the garage can positively affect your body and mind. Walking is a great exercise. You can walk by yourself for some me time or walk with a friend. Walking is a great way to drop a few of those extra stress pounds. Cardio and strength training will help you to not only become more physically fit, but gain gratification. Listen to pleasurable music while walking on the treadmill to escape your outside, tense existence. Pick up some weights and gain some strength. Show the world how strong you are. Yoga is one of the best exercises you can do for yourself. What can be gained from a yoga session is healing your mind, body and soul. Yoga feels good. It feels good on your body. It clears your mind to help keep that positivity level up. It will help with pain, physically, mentally, and emotionally. Yoga studios are everywhere, as well. If you prefer to stay at home, there are plenty of videos online to watch and help with your yoga routine. Number 4. Indulge in pleasure. Continually add pleasurable activities into your daily life. Pleasure is a necessary venture to maintain your mental health. 
adding enjoyment is a sure way to increase that positive effect. Pleasure can be something as simple as taking a luxurious bath or getting your nails done. Get a massage. Go bowling. Basking in the sun will help with relaxation and ease tensions in your mind. Sex probably tops the lists of pleasurable activities to choose from. Engaging in sex is normal and natural. Some people believe that sex is for procreation only. Others believe that regular sex is a healthy way to maintain your quality of life. Sex is excellent for the body as well as the soul. Being intimate with your partner is a normal human function. Sex goes alongside exercise when it comes to increasing your quality of life. Number 5. Maintain a journal. Use a gratitude journal to relieve stress, maintain positivity, and focus on the good things in your life. Write down the things you are grateful for. A gratitude journal is a book or diary that you write in to be thankful for, daily. It is necessary to do this to keep your mind focused on the positive things and flush out the negative. A journal strengthens your soul and reminds you of the good things life brings. You will learn about yourself and become more self-aware. Grateful people tend to be healthier and have healthier relationships. Writing comes naturally. You could write about how you were able to overcome a new yoga posture. You could write about how great the intimacy was that night. How about noting how you are grateful for your family? There are many things to give your gratitude. You can write your appreciation in a notebook, a diary, a piece of paper, or a gratitude journal. Or, if you like, you can type it in Microsoft Word or Google Documents. It is your journal, and it is not for others to see. Getting quality of life is not as hard as it may seem. You can be happier, healthier, and have the time of your life with a bit of effort. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe.